the greatest fan wall ever. Ha <laughs> ha! no electric, electric. Yeah, it's getting hectic, hectic. Seven, seven, seven. Yeah, seven, seven, seven. Yeah, seven, seven, seven. Today's a really big day. To head over to the arena for a rehearsal and then to call game five of the NBA Finals. Lakers hosting the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. And I feel very fortunate and blessed to be behind the mic tonight. So uh, just like we did in the episode one of Baller's Voice, I'm gonna take you through the motions of what I do and how I go about it game day. Thank you. Let's get in the arena, see what gives. It's incredible to think that it all started in a place like this, and now we're here. Behind the scenes of the trophy presentation rehearsal going on right now, the Advent Health Arena. This is literally the behind the scenes. That trophy case, that's the brand new Louis Vuitton trophy case that will hold the Larry O'Brien trophy. Pretty impressive. Now joining us at center court for a special presentation, please welcome ESPN's Rachel Nichols. So I got to meet some really cool people on this trip, and one of the most amazing people I met is this woman right here. Super cool, super amazing, and uh, kind of funny. <laughs> Just saying. The greatest fan wall ever. <laughs> Half-court shot. No good. The final score from tonight's game to Miami Heat, 111. Los Angeles Lakers, 108. We're going to game six, everybody. And that's it, it's over. This historic 2020 NBA championship belongs to the Los Angeles Lakers. There you have it, folks. Confetti on the court. Five fifteen in the morning. Lakers just won the NBA championship here in the bubble in Orlando. And I got to be a huge part of this bubble. Um, it's really difficult to put into words what this meant for me. People ask me, hey, you know, how do I feel about it? And I always tell them I'm blessed. I don't think they understand the, the sincerity in that response. I truly am to have been part of something like this with so many amazing people who have dedicated themselves to their crafts, um, to the teams that they were on, to the experience that we all had, to our safety, to our health, and, uh, to the mission that we all had, not only to restart this season, but to see it through. So this is the entire crew that we used to hang with, uh, all bubble long. The great people that took the time out of their uh, lives to stay here and keep us safe and test us. We appreciate you all, thank you so much. Yeah. Love. Yeah. One day I think I'll have the uh, I guess the right perspective and, and I'll be able to articulate exactly what this meant for me. Um, but until then, uh, thank you so much to everyone who uh, followed and, and watched the show and asked questions and commented, and supported, encouraged me along the way. And I hope to uh, keep showing you what we're doing and where we're doing it and how we're doing it and with who we're doing it. As I uh, leave the bubble and on to the next. On behalf of uh, Idris and myself, Beyond the Game TV and Olivier The Voice, thank you so much for tuning in to Baller's Voice. It's not over, but everything's got chapters.
that's it. It's a bit of a mess, but this was home for three months. And that's what happens when you get out in a hurry. Yo, thought we left the bubble? Not just yet. Peace. Peace.